Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. So guys, today I teach you really cool and smooth hair dynamic animation in Cinema 4D. So firstly guys, I take spare and change spare radius and segments. Radius I take 50 and segment same 50. And guys, change also type. I take this one ISO, right? And after that, guys, I go to display, select all shading lines. And now, guys, I apply tag. So right click on spare and go to Cinema 4D tag and use vibrator, this one. Yes. And guys, enable position check and amplitude. I take 100 and 100. Made also 100. And guys, third one, take only 0 centimeter and guys frequency I take 0 0.5 right so play and guys I increase frame like 500 and go to back and play yeah see guys it's really simple right and also enable rotation and enable rotation check and amplitude Guys, I take 50 and mid one 50. Yeah, and frequency this time only take one. Go to back and play. Yes, right guys. That's really simple. Okay, now guys, I apply here. So select this pair and I go to simulate here object and use add here yes right and increase count count I take like 3000 and segments guys take like 32 yes and guys change gravity I don't need this gravity so stop and I go to force and gravity take zero yes yeah okay great now guys I apply wind so go to again simulate and particles and use wind this one and select this wind rotate select wind and rotate minus 90 degree right so go to back and select this wind and wind speed I take like 30 so go to back and play yeah see guys that's really simple right so stop and render preview great guys you can increase more segments and here objects go to here and uh, root use this one poly area and go to here and count is good root I take as guard this one and again go to guide and guys I increase more count like 5000 5000 enter and length I take like 300 yeah go to back and play guys if you take more count system getting slow yes right see guys I also apply turbulence so stop and render preview yeah that's good and now guys apply turbulence this one yeah and select this turbulence and strength I take 20 centimeter and close select this turbulence go to and made yeah okay now all is good guys now after that I change here material so stop stop and open here material and this is most important guys I apply 
random and rainbow type effect color. So go to firstly color and click on here. And this is my load preset. And see guys, this is my hair material color. Like take this one. This is my rainbow color, right? And specular is good. Go to thickness and root. I take 0 0.5 and tape again 0 0.05, right? And go to guys, this one king check and little bit change this graph editor. Go to animate. Yes, and king, I take 10%. Yeah, and clump check. And guys, clump this one, take 95%. Yeah, right. And lastly, band, band check. So guys, close and render preview. Yeah, great. See guys, that's really good. Right. So go to back and again, render preview. Great. See guys. This is my hair. So go to back and play. Yes. So stop and render preview. Yeah. Great. See guys, this is really smooth hair dynamic animation. So guys, you can increase more segments. So segments, this one take like 64. I increase more segments for more smoothness. But guys, after increase segments, it's system getting really slow. So I stop and render preview. Yeah, great. That's really good. Okay. Now, guys, I apply C4D Studio Lite. I go to file and merge C4D Lite and open. Go to front view panel and select low and background. Go to down, more down, and I take camera and camera check. Guys, set camera angle. I go to top view panel and so stop, select camera. And camera go on here. Guys, rotation. All rotation take 0, 0. Position, X take 0. And go on here. Yes. Right. So, little bit up this camera. Like 50. Decrease 30. And back this camera like 800 minus 800 yes yeah this angle is good right great see guys that's really good right and now guys also apply material on this pair so i go to create and load material open and i apply blue this one Okay, little bit change. So play. So guys, so I stop this animation and again render preview. Yeah, great. See guys, that's my final render, right? So now I go to render setting. Actually, you can take set light. So select over at soft box, go in mid and little bit down and select this small soft box, little bit closer. Yes. Okay, guys, go to render setting and effect is only take here render, don't need MB occlusion and Global illumination and T select best save guys format. I take JPEG sequences and go to file create folder like renders and take any file name 
and guys output use full HD frame and all right so close and guys little bit change camera angle so select camera go on here yes yeah it's made so guys I increase more go to again here last one and count I take 8000 8000 and length I take 400 and segments is good right see this is my final output setting count I take 8000 and length 400 centimeter and segments take 64 right and render preview renders so open right and last one guys I create little bit color correction so go to filter filter here enable filter check saturation I take 20 brightness take 1 contrast take 10 and exposure take 0 0.2 yeah this one is much better right and after renders take after render save as go to here save as and type use animation and most important part guys is use filter check and press ok right so again you can create new folder like new cc randalls and save that's it guys right so guys this my hair smooth dynamic is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you